sentences is also there in your syllabus so i think uh, there is no confusion about kinds of sentences because kinds of sentences you know already there are five kinds of sentences and i explained you that what are the different kinds before in our previous classes and if you have missed the class kindly inform me and i can share the youtube videos with you okay if required youtube videos can be shared with you the link i can share with you because i have kept all the links with me so whenever you require you just ask me or tell me i i shall send you the link okay so therefore so we shall we shall practice uh, the voice changes we shall practice the voice changes basing on interrogative sentences assertive sentences already almost of all of you have become a little bit expert so we shall practice the voice changes on that interrogative sentences are also of two kinds interrogative sentences previous class with wh word and another one is yes no question and another one another type of interrogative sentence or the question is yes no question one is with wh question uh, wh word that is wh questions can be called those sentences can be called as wh wh questions and the another type is called yes no questions and another type is called yes no questions i, am, I have written in short yes no questions so voice changes if the verbs are transitive verbs that means if we can find the objects from the verb that means if the verbs are having their objects then only the verbs are called as transitive verbs and whenever transitive verbs are there in any sentences we can change the voices of that sentence without transitive verb voice changes cannot be done remember voice changes cannot be done without the transitive verbs now let's practice some of the questions basing on the interrogative sentences for voice changes so especially we will practice we will practice from active to pass passive because you are the beginners now in class 8 since you are the beginners so therefore let's practice from active to passive only and in our later later on uh, that means after hafel examination if i think if i see that you have improved a lot from active to passive, then we can start from passive to active too. So let me write down one sentence. Help, help you. First of all, you tell me whether this is a question of, uh, that means WH question or yes, no question. Is it a WH question or a yes, no question? Is it a W H question? No, I can't see. I yes, can't no, see yes, the no. W H. Yes, no yes. question. Yes, you have to identify whether it is a yes no question or a W H question. And how can you identify that if the answer is in only yes or no? If the answer can be given only with yes or no, then it is called yes no question. See, does he help you? see there is first of all we can see that we can see from the sentences there is no wh word wh what are the wh words what why when how also one word which has no w still it is in the group of wh word what uh, why when which who so these all are wh word so in this sentence we cannot find any wh word and also we can see that if you if does he help you if this question is asked to anyone does he help you we may answer it like yes or no we can say yes then we can answer complete the answer but only with yes or no on also can be the answer given so this is a called yes no question is it clear am i clear to all of you have you got the point Yes, ma'am. Have you got it or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma so therefore, you see, okay, does he help you? Now, if we are asked to change the voice, if we are asked to change the voice, and you can see that, first yes, of all, like, like assertive sentences only, first of all, you have to find out the subject. This is a subject, he. 
then you have to find out the verb the main verb is help and then you have to find out the object so object is here you so we have found we have seen we have found our subject we have found the verb and we have found the object subject verb and object now one more uh, word is left here that is does so these does this does has been used to make it a question to make the sentence a question the does word has been extracted that means has been taken from the word help from the main verb help it was actually if it is an assertive sentence if it is an i i also in our previous class i also asked you or told you that whenever you are given the interrogative sentence first of all change the sentence into assertive then it will be easier for you to change the voice then it will be easier and it will be correct also answer will be correct also so let us change this interrogative sentence or a question to an assertive sentence that means to a statement or a declarative sentence assertive sentence it has got many names assertive or declarative or statement so that means the type uh, the descriptive type of sentence so let us change it into an assertive sentence so if we change this into an assertive sentence subject will come first he since it is uh, we are changing it into an assertive sentence it will no longer be a interrogative sentence so therefore this helping verb is not required at the beginning at the beginning of the sentence no helping verb is required if it is not a question remember if it is not a question helping verb is not required before the subject so therefore subject will come first he now where this does will go the does was actually the does, does was actually the, yes so it will become helps is it clear to all of you yes this help will become yes this help will become yes, helps yes. because the does word has been extracted that means taken from the word help it was with the word help in assertive form but since we have to make the question or a sentence uh, that is a question had to be made therefore the does has gone before the subject so he helps you so this is our assertive sentence this is the assertive sentence see this one yes, you have to do in rough i told you before also as you uh, do rough in maths mathematics uh, similarly you have to do sometimes you have to do the rough in grammar also so therefore he helps you now if you change it becomes very easy for you he helps yes. you so so you you will come first you with you now what we shall we have to use because this is this is simple present tense so with you what we have to use what we have you are yes very good you are yes you are then i Uh, then what you have to write? You are help. Yes, you are help. helped. You are helped by him. Him. You are helped by oh. him. So this is the answer in assertive sentence. You are helped by him. But we were given the sentence into in interrogative uh, form. We were given the sentence in question form or interrogative form. Therefore. our final answer should be in interrogative form only now if we want to make this sentence into an interrogative sentence what we have to do which is the helping verb here which helping verb has to be taken before the subject which is a subject here in this sentence which is a subject in this passive voice this is the passive voice are you helped by him yes r will go r will come before you so the sentence will be r u r u helped by him r u helped by him now we can put the question mark and this is our answer this is our answer yes, now is the is the uh, procedure clear to all of you is the process clear to all of you do any one of you yes, have got any confusion okay afterwards you don't uh, ask me personally if you have got any confusion now only you can clear it okay now only in the class only i want to clear uh, all the points because it's not possible to uh, teach you personally i have got so many work and so many classes also so therefore you see does he help you what we have done first of all make the sentence into an assertive sentence how to make it an assertive sentence 
first of all bring the subject in the beginning he now help is there and in the, at the beginning the helping verb was does therefore it will be he helps and then you he helps you now it has become very easy for us to change the voice he helps you so you will come uh, you is the object here therefore you will come at the beginning as subject in the passive voice so you are helped by him now you are helped by him since we have to make it an interrogative sentence into an interrogative sentence that means a question so therefore it will be are will come before you so are you helped by him are you helped by him then you put the question mark and this is the answer this is your final answer this answer has to be written in the uh, that means answer script okay this okay, is your final answer okay okay ma'am so i hope all of you have, okay i hope all of you have understood yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am yes, okay. yes, okay now let me write down one more sentence did he did he i don't do his work i am i got asked because my problem did he do his work so this is a question did he do his work now this sentence is also given in interrogative form or in the form of question now you tell me whether this is a wh question or a or or, or a yes no question yes no, no question yes no question because yes, no wh is no wh word is there and overall no wh word is there and overall moreover it's a uh, only we can with yes or no we can answer it so did he do his work so did he do his work now if we change this into an assertive sentence since this is given in interrogative form we need to change it into assertive form now if we if we want to change it into an assertive form so what we have to do this subject will come first he this subject will come first he then the main verb is do but did. before the subject did. did so do did plus do will become did, did. yes he did his work did. he did his work now if you if you change it what will be the answer he did his work if you change it if you change it into passive voice you know that this one is in active voice you know that this one is in active voice because the subject is active here he did his work so what will be the answer in active voice in assertive form what is the object he here he is work he is work his work was done he, by him yes his work was because here did is there was done by him his was work his, was done was yes his work his, was done. very good was, was then if we change him. was will come yes was will come before the subject was his work was his work done by him was his work done by him question mark so this will be the answer this is our final answer was his work done by him was his work done by him this is the final answer okay so am i clear to all of you have you yes, got the idea okay yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am let's let me write them one more sentence Ma'am, your voice is vibrating. Okay, you uh, all of you uh, mute the audios, please. Mute the audios whenever it's required. Whenever you will answer, then you unmute. Because if uh, the network problem is there, uh, there may be network problem in your mobile or my mobile also. But I have got Wi-Fi, so I don't think I have got the problem. Please mute your audios, and whenever you answer, unmute it, answer, and then again mute it. Okay. otherwise uh, we cannot continue the class properly are you doing are you doing this work are you doing this so are you doing this work so this is the sentence first of all you tell me uh, which uh, it, this sentence is in which tense are you doing this work 
Are you doing this work? Can you call you can present continuous tense. This is present a continuous. present continuous tense. Yes, very good. Present continuous tense. So if it is in present continuous tense, let us change the sentence. That is the interrogative sentence. Let us change the interrogative sentence into assertive sentence first. So if we change it into an assertive sentence, so what it will become? What will the sentence become then? What is the subject here? Which is the subject? Name you. Which is the subject? You are. You. Yes, you are doing. You are doing this work. This is the assertive sentence. You are doing this work. Now, if you change this into a, a passive form, then what will be the answer? Yes. If the sentence is, if the sentence uh, is changed into active, uh, active, uh, sorry, passive voice. Uh, voice is, I think my voice is breaking. Echoing also. This am I audible? Am I audible? Okay, no, the, this work. Okay, this work. This work. This work. Now, what was the sentence? This work. Is. Then, what you have to. This work is. This work. Yes, very good. This work is. Then, after that. Is. After that, what you have to use? This work is after that being 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 very good. Being. This work is being done by you. Yes, is done. being done by you. Yes. yes. This work is being done by you. Now, when you will change this sentence. My voice is echoing too much, I think. If we change this sentence into, uh, into a question form, then what will be the question? Is she work being done by you? Yes, very good. This work is will go before this, this work. So this is the answer. Is this work being done by you? Is this work being done by you? Have you got my point? All of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then next let me write down. Ding Was she reading a novel? Can you tell me the answer? Was she reading a novel? How to change the sentence into assertive sentence? What will be the assertive sentence? The assertive sentence will be? She was reading a novel. Yes, she was, she was reading. reading a novel. Very good. She was reading a novel. She was reading a novel. Now, if we change this, what will be the answer? A novel. The novel was being read. The novel was being read by her. Yes, being read by her. Now, is this the final answer? 
Is this the okay. final answer, students? No, 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 no. What will be the no, final no. answer? Was a novel being read by her? Yes, these words. Was a novel being read by her? Yes, these words has to be taken. These words has to be taken before the novel. So was a novel being was a novel being read by her read by her was a novel being read by her okay was a novel being read by her so was a novel being read by her and then we have to put the question mark then we have to put the question mark. Don't forget to put the question mark, okay? Was a novel yes. being read by her? Was a novel being read by her? These helping verb, these verb, this helping verb has to be taken before the, uh, that means subject of the passive voice. A novel was a novel. See, a novel was being read by her. So this was should be taken or has to be taken before the subject of the passive voice. So subject of the passive voice is a novel. So was a novel being read by her? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, can you hear yes, what the voice yes. is echoing too much? Yes, ma'am. Okay, has he heard? Has he helped you? Question mark. So has he helped you? So if we change this sentence into assertive, so what will be the uh, sentence? He, he has helped you. Yes, he has helped you. He has helped you. He has helped you. Now, he has helped you. If we change this sentence into passive voice, so you can we use this has here? You, you have been. Are we allowed to use has? You have. Have been. You, you have. Yes, very good. You have. Very good. You have. Help. Help. Yes, by you have been. Help. Help. By, by him. By him. By him. Very good. You have been helped by him. Now you have been helped by him. Is this the final answer? No, ma'am. Is no, this the final no, answer? No, ma'am. No. So what do you have to no, do? No, ma'am. These have. Ma these have, you have has to be taken. Yes. Have, have you, you been helped by Have him? you been helped by him? Yes. Have you been? Yes, very good. Have you been helped by him? Have you been helped by him? Him. Hmm. Then we have to put the question mark. Have you been helped? Question mark. Okay. Or forget to put the yes. question mark. If you don't put the question mark, half marks will be deducted. Okay. Half marks yes, will be deducted for not putting the punctuation marks properly. Punctuation marks are required to be put properly in proper places. Okay. So have you been helped by him? You know that these are the punctuation marks and uh, this makes a sense for the sentences. Then you see next. Can he do this work? Can he do this work? Question mark. Okay. My uh, in my mobile no space is there. You put the question mark properly. Can he do this work? Now, how can we change this? What will be the Assertive form of this sentence. He can do this word. Yes, very good. He, he can, can do this work. Yes, he can do this work. He can do this work. Now we have to change this into a, a passive voice. This is an active voice, so we have to change it into passive. We change this into passive voice. So what will be the answer? This what word the answer? can be him. Yes, these word. Can be done can by be. him. Yes, very good. 
this work can be done by him this work can be done by him now this is not our final answer isn't it this yes, is not, uh, this is not our final yes, answer so which is the verb has to be taken before the subject can these work can be these done work be done by him, him? can this work be work be done by uh, done by him him can this work be done by him then question mark then we have to put the question mark so this is our final answer so yes, are you feeling are you are you feeling that this is a easier method or uh, directly if you change that is easier there will be less yes there will be yes, less yes. chance of making mistakes okay if you do yes, like this there will be there, there will be less chance of making mistakes in this way okay so therefore using this method is easier or uh, there will be that is flawless method there will be no mistakes uh, chances of mistakes will be less then next next uh, let me write down will you will you teach the children will you teach the children so will you teach the children if we change it into from interrogative to assertive it will become it will become you will teach the children yes you will you will teach, teach the children teach very good the you will teach the children okay now you will teach the children now this is an active voice so let us change it into passive voice so what will be the passive voice the, the children, children will be yes the children will be the children will be by will be then by you will be taught teach taught taught you know teach taught yes. taught so the children will be yes. taught yes. by you you taught. will teach the children the children the children will be taught by you the children will be taught by you so this is an assertive still this is an assertive now we yes, have to change it into interrogative now we have to change it into interrogative so what you have to do for making it into interrogative to turn this sentence into Yes, will the will children will be taught by you? Very good. Yes. Will the children, will the children be taught by you? Will the children be taught, taught by, you? by you? Yes. Rest all will remain same. Only the helping verb you take before the subject. Rest all will remain same. Okay. For the rest portion of the sentence, you don't have to do anything else. only this helping verb has to be taken before the subject only the helping verb only the extra verb only this helping verb or auxiliary verb has to be taken before the subject nothing else rest of the rest portion of the sentence will remain same as it is rest uh, portion of the sentence will remain same or as it is it will remain okay there will be no changes for rest of the sentence then next uh, let me uh, write down one sentence who has done this work who has done this work can you tell me what type of question it is who has done this work mam w h w h question who has done okay this is a okay this is a w h question okay now you see whenever any question starts with who whenever any question starts with who remember who only the wh word who only the wh word who just treat who as the subject just treat who as a subject in assertive sentence also who will be the subject only if we change the sentence into assertive then also who will remain as a subject so this sentence without changing too much we can change the sentence into Uh, that means Man. passive voice who has done this so if we just change then this work this work this work now what verb we have to use 
Head. No. This word is singular form. Has. 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 This work has because this work is a singular third person singular number. This work is third person singular number and with third person singular number we need to use has not have remember. So this work has now we require to bring been. This work has been done by who will become whom? Who will become whom? So this is a assertive form. This interrogative, I told you that whenever the sentence starts with who, remember. By who? Whenever the sentence uh, starts with who, remember this who can be treated just directly as a subject. So therefore, we don't have to make the sentence again into assertive because there is no way to change it into assertive. Who has done this work? The passive By voice. The, 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 yes, the passive voice can be written. The passive voice can be written in assertive form, form like this. This work has been done by whom? But this is not our final answer. Our final answer, remember, whenever it starts with who, by whom, the sentence in the passive voice will start with by whom. By whom, then the helping verb will come before the subject. This is subject. This work is the subject here. This work yes. is the subject of this sentence. So, by whom. Has this work been done? By whom? Remember, by whom will go in, at the beginning? By whom? Then the has helping verb will come. By, sorry, by whom? Has, has by whom? Has this work? Been by whom has this work been done? Done. Yes. By whom has this work been done? Because already we have taken by whom at the beginning. So therefore, yes. been done. After that, we don't have to write anything else. By whom has this work been done? So remember, whenever with who, uh, you are given the active voice with who. If the interrogative sentence starts with who, so at in the assertive form, it will be this work has been done by whom. But since it is, it has to be changed into interrogative, so by whom will go at the beginning? By whom? Then will come the helping verb. So helping verb is has. So by whom has this work been done? Because this work is the, this work is the subject. This work is the subject in our passive voice. So in our passive voice, if this work is a subject, so helping verb has to go before the subject while making it a question, into a question form. So therefore, by whom, by whom has this work been done? Is it clear to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Am I? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma okay, now you okay, tell me this answer. I shall not help you. Who did this work? Who did this work? You tell me the answer, I shall write. Who did this work? I'm giving you one minute time. Who did this work? Ma'am, by whom does this work? By whom? Was? Have you done? Yes. Have you done the rough work? Yes, ma'am. Okay. By whom? Then after that, what will come? Was. Was. By whom was? This work. This work. Done. Done. Very good. By whom was this work done? So I think, uh, Shubhajit, I think your name? Bishay Chakrabhati. Vishuji Chakravarti. Okay, Vishuji Chakravarti has answered uh, the fastest one. By whom was this work done? Rest of you, all of you have done or not? Rest all the students. Can you do this or I have to explain? Rest of the students. Can you do this of your own or I have to explain once more? Do you want me to explain once more? No, ma'am. Ma'am, first question. 
Oh, no, is there any confusion in this question? No, ma'am. Have you understood? Have you okay, have you understood? Okay, all of you have understood? All of you have understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Who did yes, this work? So did this work? So this first of all, we have to change it. This work was done by whom? Then by whom you bring at the beginning? By whom was this work done? Is it clear to all of you? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, okay. Yes, how, many sentences have, how many sentences has been done today? Ma'am, nine. How many sentences? Ma'am, nine. Nine, okay. Okay, let us do one more sentence then. Okay. Did he write this letter? Did he write this letter? Did he write this letter? So if we change this sentence into assertive sentence, what will be the sentence? What will be the sentence if we change this into assertive sentence? He wrote this letter. Very good. He wrote this letter. He wrote, he wrote this letter. This... Yes, very he good. Wrote he wrote, this, wrote letter. this letter. Okay, all of you, all of you agree to this uh, answer? He wrote this letter. All of you agree or not? Is there anyone yes, having another another sentence? Yes, Okay. No, so did he okay? Did he write this letter? So this did will come with write, so it will become wrote. He wrote this letter. Now, if we change this sentence into active voice, so what will be the answer? This letter was written by yes. him. Yes, this letter was written by him. This letter was written by him. Very good. This letter was written by him. Then next. Next, what is the formation you have to do? What will be the was order arrangement? Written by him. By him. Yes. Was this letter? Yes. Was this letter written by him? Was this letter written by him? Yes. Very was good. Was this letter, letter written, written, by written, by written, by written by him? This letter written by him. Yes. Was this letter? Since it is an interrogative sentence, remember, students. We need to arrange the words, okay? We need to arrange the words means only the verb, helping verb. We need to, there is a peculiar sound coming. We need to, we need to use the helping verb to the subject. So let us complete this class today here only. We shall meet you in our next class, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, so okay, till then, okay, practice well and study well. And study well. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.